Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Jana and every week I bring you a new 10 minutes watercolor video for all of you who love watercolor but are too busy and don't have much time to make art. This week I decided to go for a simple watercolor illustration of a whale. In case you are interested in the art supplies I'm using in these videos, the list can always be found in the description, along with my Skillshare, Instagram and Etsy links. Let's get started! First thing to do is to use a masking tape to stick the paper to a hardboard or a piece of cardboard or just something firm. We do this because when the paper is wet, it tends to wave and we want to minimize it. Now I have my pencil and I'm sketching the whale. I know it can take some time if you have never drawn a whale before. Take all the time you need, correct the lines if needed. I have my paper in portrait orientation, but you can definitely go with landscape orientation or square format if that's easier for you. Ok, I'm happy with the shape of the whale and now let's take a mop brush and apply clean water around the whale. And now I take the violet color, this is very nice and rich color, and again I paint the area around our whale. You can see that as we wetted the paper before, the pigment runs nicely, and the sharp edge is only the one defining the whale's body. This is called negative painting technique because we use the negative space, the space around the object, to define the object itself. Now I add more of the violet color to the rest of the background, this time lighter, and also a bit of blue. I don't want the background to be too flat and homogeneous, therefore I leave some lighter spaces where the white of the paper shines through the paints. Other areas are darker and that will give me the idea of deep sea and moving water.
You can see that we created the shape of the whale by painting around it, but we still want to add a bit of details to the whale. But careful, don't go too dark, you don't want your whale to blend into the background. So for the belly of the whale I'm using light mix of azure blue and a bit of carmine red. I'm also creating a carmine texture on the whale's tail and fins. Now I have my liner brush and azure blue and I'm drawing fine long lines to represent the wrinkles and gathers on whale's belly. Adding a bit of blue also to the tail and fins. And now I want to emphasize the eye of the whale, which is small but important detail. And let's give the whale also some texture using blue color for his fins, tail and mouth.
And one of the last things to do, I'm adding a light blue shade to his back. I love doing this last thing. I always say it's optional, but this time I think this illustration really calls for it. Because the whale is in the water and there are little bubbles dancing around him. So let's spatter some violet color over the painting. And we're done! I hope you enjoyed this simple illustration and the negative painting technique, which is, in my opinion, one of the most interesting watercolor techniques. Let me know how you liked it and don't forget that I add new tutorial every week. See you next Friday!